Well, good morning. There are a lot of you here today, huh? All right, Brody. For those who don't know who may be visiting with us today, last week we began a new children's moment time where each week someone new gets to take this special book home with them for the week and bring it back filled with an item. It's an empty book. It's hollow. Bring back an item and somehow we will tell a Bible story about whatever it is. Uh, Brody had it this week. I don't know what's in here, do I, Brody? No. So, let's see. Did y'all have a good week? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Let's see what we got in here. Just be careful. <laughs> what is that? What's it, this a key to? This isn't anything that I need, is it? <laughs> no? Okay. A key. All right. That's a good... You know one? What? Paul and Silas? That's a great one. <laughs> That's really good. Emma says Paul and Silas. You know, they were in prison. And this, this, this could come in handy for most of us in prison, but they didn't need it. They had prayer. Um, so they had God on their side. So this, um, this key, let's see. Hmm. What do keys do? <coughs> they unlock things, don't they? Doors and, and things like that. What What do you normally put inside? Like, what do you normally lock up? Do you lock up things you don't care about? No. No? Do you, do you lock up what? Things you care about? Yes. Yeah? Things that are valuable? Your car. Your car. You lock your car doors. So... You, you, you lock things that are valuable. Well, um, let's see. So, so we lock things up that are really valuable. What, what's something that's really valuable to all of you? What candy? What else? Andrew, toys are valuable. A four wheeler. Money. Yeah? So so a lot of toys. What what about Jesus? Yeah. Is Jesus valuable to you? Yeah. Well sometimes, you know, not all things should be locked up, right? And some and Jesus, if he's really valuable to us, we don't want to keep him locked up where? Inside our hearts, do we? We want to let other people see him, don't we? So we wanna we can we can open up our hearts to Jesus. And let others see Jesus in us. We don't want to keep him locked away inside of us, do we? Like, like our toy. We don't want anyone to take our toys, but we want people to see Jesus, don't we? So, let's see. This week, going as you go to school and do different things at home, let's see if we can unlock our hearts and let Jesus be out, okay? And, and be a part of who, everything we do so that other people can see Jesus. Can we do that? Yeah, let other people see Jesus. How, what's one thing you can do to let people know that you love Jesus? Sing. Sing. What else? Pray. Pray. Read your Bible. Anything else? Be kind to others, right? Be kind. Share. Yeah. Listen to his words. Help people. Wow, this is great. This is good. Y'all got? Y'all getting this? Yeah. <laughs> Well, let me pray for you all, and let, let's, let's go and unlock Jesus for others, okay, and, and help. And, yes. Okay. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you love us. Thank you for coming into our hearts. Uh, we thank you that um, there's just so many ways that we can show people that you love us and that you love them. Help us to be kind to others, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you all can grab one piece, all right, one treat, and head on. Uh, our three to six-year-olds are dismissed for Children's Church if you want to. All right. Oh, the book. All right. There you go. You're the holder of the book.
this week, all right? We'll see you next week with it. And remember, parents, nothing living or that.